Archbishop Shikluna on Universal Law to Protect Minors, Archbishop Charles Shikluna, Adjunct Secretary of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith and an expert in the fight against abuse, shares his thoughts on Pope Francis' updates to Vo Estes Lux Mundi, and says one important change is a detailed procedure for reporting and investigating allegations against lay people at the head of international associations. Archbishop Charles Shikluna, the Archbishop of Valletta, Malta, since 2018, serving as Adjunct Secretary of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, has always been involved in combating the scourge of abuse by clergy. In the following interview with Vatican News, he illustrates the importance of the changes introduced on Saturday by Pope Francis in his update of Vo Estes Lux Mundi, the motu proprio promulgated in 2019 with which the Pope introduced procedural rules to combat sexual abuse and ensure that bishops and religious superiors are held accountable for their actions. Archbishop Shikluna, what is the main change brought to Vo Estes Lux Mundi in order to promote its better application almost four years after its entry into force? The first fundamental point is the very fact that the Pope confirms the law promulgated in 2019 and confirms it as the universal law of the Church, no longer ad experimentum. It is a very important law because, among other things, some new elements are introduced in the history of canon law such as the criminal relevance of the abuse of a vulnerable adult. Among the changes is a further clarification of who the victims of abuse are. Previously, we spoke of minors and vulnerable persons, now we also speak of vulnerable adults and persons who habitually have an imperfect use of reason. What does this specification mean? It is a harmonization between two laws of 2021. Two years ago, Pope Francis promulgated a new version of the particular law that lists the rights reserved to the competence of the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith and also a motu proprio by which he revised the chapter in the Code of Canon Law that speaks of penal sanctions. So, there is a harmonization between these laws that speak of a very painful, but also very important, subject for pastoral care. Definitely. This is one of the strongest changes in this version of Vo Estes Lux Mundi. We are in the second part that gives the Church a detailed procedure on the reporting and investigation of allegations against persons in the Church leadership. In the 2019 document, this leadership included cardinals, patriarchs, bishops, and clerics appointed as pastors in the particular churches, while in today's text, the Pope introduces two new categories, clerics who have been at the head of a public, clerical, incarnated association, and then lay faithful who have been moderators of international associations recognized by the Holy See.